A Solar Installation Guide Welcome, solar enthusiasts and divers. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey into the world of a solar installation guide. If you've ever dreamed of harnessing the power of the sun and want to take matters into your own hands, you're in the right place. Step 1. Planning your solar installation project Before you dive in, meticulous planning is your best friend. Start by conducting a thorough energy audit to understand your electricity needs. Consider your location, sun exposure, and local regulations. A shading analysis helps identify optimal panel placement. The energy audit should involve a review of your utility bills over the past year to determine your monthly and annual energy consumption. This will help you estimate the size of the solar panel system you'll need to cover your energy needs. When considering your location, it's important to understand your geographical region's solar insulation, which measures the amount of sunlight your location receives. This information will help you calculate how much energy your panels can generate. Discuss local regulations, permits, and any incentives available for solar installations in your area. This can vary widely by region, so it's essential to research these requirements thoroughly. Step 2. Procuring the necessary materials. Now it's time to assemble your toolkit. You'll need solar panels, an inverter, mounting hardware, wiring, and safety gear. Don't forget the electrical permit. Compliance with local regulations is essential for a safe and legal solar installation. Solar panels come in various types, including monocrystalline, polycrystalline, and thin film. Monocrystalline panels are known for their efficiency and space-saving design. Polycrystalline panels are more cost-effective but slightly less efficient. Thin film panels are flexible and lightweight but less efficient. When it comes to quality, it's essential to invest in reliable components. High-quality panels, inverters, and mounting hardware may cost more upfront but can pay off in the long run through better performance and durability. When purchasing components, consider buying from reputable suppliers or manufacturers. Look for warranties and read user reviews to ensure the quality and reliability of the equipment. Step 3. Mounting the solar panels. With your toolkit ready, it's time to mount those solar panels. Find a secure location preferably on a rooftop with proper structural support. Follow the manufacturer's instructions to securely attach the mounting hardware. Pay attention to the angle for optimal sunlight exposure. When mounting panels on a rooftop, it's essential to check. If the roof structure can support the added weight, consult a structural engineer or contractor if you have any doubts about the roof's integrity. To ensure a watertight seal, you should use appropriate flashing and sealants around mounting brackets. This prevents water leaks and protects your roof. If your location doesn't have a suitable rooftop, ground-mounted solar arrays or solar pergolas are alternative options. Make sure to consider local aesthetics and regulations when choosing your installation location. Secure the panels to withstand strong winds and heavy snow loads. This may involve additional bracing or anchoring depending on your region's climate conditions. Step 4. Wiring and Inverter Installation Wiring is a crucial step. Connect the solar panels in series or parallel, depending on your system design. When connecting solar panels in series, you're linking the positive terminal of one panel to the negative terminal of the next panel. This increases the total voltage of the array, while keeping the current the same. Series connections are suitable for installations where you need higher voltage but can tolerate lower current, such as long cable runs. On the other hand, when connecting panels in parallel, you're connecting all the positive terminals together and all the negative terminals together. This keeps the voltage the same but increases the total current. Parallel connections are ideal for situations where you require higher current but can't accommodate higher voltage. Your choice between series and parallel connections should align with your inverter's input specifications. The inverter's input voltage and current requirements must match the configuration of your solar panels. Carefully, read the inverter's manual to ensure proper connection. Your inverter converts the DC power from the panels into AC power for your home. Make sure it's properly grounded. Inverters come in different types, including string inverters, microinverters, and power optimizers. String inverters are cost-effective and work well when all your panels have similar orientations and no shading issues. Microinverters and power optimizers are great for situations where shading or panel orientation varies as they optimize each panel individually. Proper grounding of the inverter is essential for electrical safety.
Grounding ensures that in the event of a fault or surge, excess electrical current is safely directed into the ground rather than your home's electrical system. Consult your local electrical code and the inverter's manual for grounding requirements specific to your region. Connecting the inverter to your home's electrical system may require the expertise of a licensed electrician. The specific wiring and connection details will depend on your local electrical code and the type of inverter you're using. By providing this additional information, you'll give your viewers a more comprehensive understanding of the wiring and inverter installation process, helping them make informed decisions during their solar panel installation guide. Step 5. System Testing and Safety Before you flip the switch, test the system for safety and functionality. Ensure all connections are secure. Safety first. Double check that everything is correctly grounded and keep safety gear on throughout the process. Step six, connecting to the grid or storage. If you're connecting to the grid, you'll need to coordinate with your utility company to ensure a smooth grid tie-in. For off-grid systems, you can connect to a battery, storage system for round-the-clock power, maintenance and monitoring. Regular maintenance ensures your solar system continues to perform optimally. Cleaning panels and checking for damage are key. When it comes to cleaning your solar panels, it's crucial to maintain peak efficiency. Regular cleaning with water and a soft brush or squeegee can help remove dirt, dust, and debris that may accumulate on the panel surface. Avoid abrasive materials that could scratch the panels. Depending on your local climate and surroundings, aim to clean the panels every few months or as needed. Inspect your panels for any visible damage, such as cracks or delamination. If you notice any issues, it's essential to address them promptly to prevent further damage and loss of efficiency. Some solar panel warranties cover manufacturing defects and certain types of damage, so be sure to review your warranty terms. Beyond visual inspections, consider having your solar system professionally inspected every few years to assess the overall performance and condition of the components. Professionals can identify issues that may not be immediately visible. Monitoring software allows you to track energy production, so you can make adjustments as needed. Solar monitoring systems provide real-time data on your system's energy production, allowing you to track its performance over time. You can access this data through online platforms or mobile apps provided by your inverter or monitoring system manufacturer. Monitoring software can help you detect any abnormalities in your system's performance. For example, a sudden drop in energy production may indicate a fault or damage to one of your panels. With this information, you can take prompt action to address the issue. Additionally, monitoring software can provide insights into your energy consumption and the overall impact of your solar system on your electricity bills. This data can help you make informed decisions about your energy usage and may uncover opportunities for further energy savings. Congratulations! You've successfully installed your own solar panel system. By harnessing the power of the sun, you're on a path toward energy independence. If you find this solar installation guide helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more renewable energy insights, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us on this empowering solar journey.